So this is how I do my hair when I'm feeling extremely lazy. I basically just toss it back in a headband. And now I don't have to dry it. I don't have to style it. It's super easy. I just don't like the way it looks. And so that's my main reason for not doing this very often. But on lazy days, it works really well. I just had an idea. Instead of putting the camera on the toothpicks, I could just open this cupboard and put you right here. Right next to the YouTube cup. Because you guys are YouTube. Yay! After I cut up my apples, I eat bit of apple that's remaining around the core because I can't waste this deliciousness and there we have it I usually cut up two apples because one's just not enough because when they're already cut up for you like you just keep picking at it and eat and eat and before you know it is gone so two apples is always a good idea plus it fills me up more I like to carry my lunch in this hit record tote bag but I don't want anything to potentially leak and get inside the bag so then I'm going to first put my lunch inside a plastic bag which just so happens to be my Disney bag right now and then I put that inside the hit record bag just because like I like the way this looks better and I just want to use it so that's why I don't just you know I could just carry it in the plastic bag and that's it but this is also easy easier to carry because it can go over the shoulder so there's that too. For those who don't know, Hit Record is Joseph Gordon-Levitt's production company, and basically it's an open, collaborative production company, so it's on hitrecord.org, and anyone can contribute stuff towards projects, and he's working on a TV show right now, and so I did a few things for that, but the thing is, you don't know if your stuff's going to get used or not, but if it does get used, you get paid, obviously, because your work is being used in a TV show, so it makes sense to get paid. And uh, so I know for sure this little animation I did is getting used. It's going to be part of cutaway visuals in a dance number, and I'm actually in the dance because I flew to L.A. to go to a recording for Hit Record, and I got to dance on stage behind Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Tony Danza. This is something I never mentioned on YouTube before, and I should totally edit together some clips and make kind of a video for it. I've actually been meaning to do that. I just totally forgot about it. But yeah, so there's this little animation thing I did, and then some character designs I used got, or I made, got used in this little animated short. And I don't know if any of my other stuff's being used for sure or not. I won't find out until, like, the payment stuff comes. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, oh my god, if only I was doing this vlog thing at the time I went to Los Angeles. That would have been a wicked vlog. Ah! I also did some designs for merchandise for the winter collection for the Hit Record store. But again, I don't know if my stuff's being for sure used or not. I got a lot of positive feedback on this winter trees design I did, so I'm kind of hoping that gets used on a t-shirt or something. I actually first drew it as a mug concept, and a lot, a lot of people really liked that. But I don't know if they're going to make mugs, though, because that's not something they've done before in their store. So that's the only downside of that, is that they're likely not going to make mugs, but I guess you never know. This is probably like the most I ever filmed in the morning before work, but I need to hurry up, brush my teeth, and get out of here. So it's 12 o'clock and I'm on my lunch break and normally I don't leave during my lunch break but I'm bored out of my mind because okay, this new girl started but her computer wasn't working so they gave her my computer and made me use a different one which means I have to transfer over my entire X drive which is 100 gigabytes and it's been taking a long long time and there's at least another hour remaining on the transfer so I'm like I'm just gonna go to Superstore and pick up some stuff I want to get. I just want to pick up some food that I can keep at work, like soups and ramen noodles and stuff that I can just quickly prepare at work. Um, just so I don't have to carry that kind of stuff to work every day. So I'm gonna do that. My break's probably gonna end up being longer than the half an hour we're allotted, but I mean, I can't do any work anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Just up the hill from here beyond that building, is the motion capture studio where I had kind of like a mini internship thing. So it's weird that the job I have now is at the same SkyTrain station. <laughs> Those ducks are in a little creek just outside Superstore. Like you can see, it's it's kind of like right along the parking lot. There's this little creek. It's so cute. But yeah, what I wanted to mention was that my coworker showed up with uh, with this little toothless toy she got from Target that she's gonna use to decorate her desk. And I was like, where did you go to Target? Like the one at Metro Town isn't open yet. She's like, it just opened yesterday. And I was like, 
So Target is finally open and I'm freaking out because this toothless toy she got, it's like maybe this tall or something. It's a little chibi toothless. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen and I need to buy that. So I'm probably gonna go to Target after work. Peeps be looking at me like I'm crazy. Also, okay, I checked my emails when I first got to work. I normally don't check my YouTube emails, but I logged in because I wanted to leave that window open just to see updates on the dispute to see like the the third party content dispute I was talking about in my last video. I wanted to keep my email open to get updates on that. And what I saw was that I got a message from Sarah from So Craftastic and I won her magazine contest. So the prize is an iPad, like what? Oh my, I'm just so excited. I've never had an iPad. Like, I just don't find that it's as necessary as like a cell phone or a computer, but it's just kind of a novelty, but it'd be cool to have. I just didn't find it necessary enough for me to go out and buy, but I am so pumped about this. I'm so excited. I want an iPad. Ah! So I want to try this Steg Chili stuff, but it's on sale half price. We have to buy six to get the sale price. So here we go. And I also got some noodles. So I also grabbed three cans of chicken noodle soup, but that's probably all I'm gonna get because it's really heavy. And the only downside about the chili stuff is it's vegetable chili, not beef chili, but I'll deal with it. So altogether that cost me just under $17, which is like equivalent to eating at that cafeteria about three times. So it's gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. Sometimes I just get sick of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I need something warm. Oh, and I didn't fully read it. It's 99% fat free and has the health and stroke health check. Oh yeah. So my coworker shows up to work with one of these and I was instantly like, where the hell did you get that? And she was like, oh, I got it at Target. And I instantly freaked out because I guess Target just opened yesterday. So I rushed over and got one of these. Well, I haven't bought it yet, but I got one for myself and one for my sister because she's in love with how to train your dragon. So I'm going to grab her one too. And Jacob told me that the Disney store got in snow globes and we've been eyeing up the frozen snow globes online and so I'm gonna go check and see if they have it. By the way, Jacob also does the daily vlog, so a couple people have asked what his channel is. It is Jacob's Life 365. So if you want to subscribe to him, that's his channel. Rest in peace wallet. I barely knew ye. Honestly though I think I'm good for a while because I pretty much bought out all the frozen stuff. That's why I've been going to the Disney store so much lately to see what new frozen stuff they got in but I've pretty much got my fill of buying stuff, so it's probably gonna be the last thing for a long time. And I just really, really want the snow globe. Ever since Jacob showed it to me online, I was like, yep, I'm buying that, so. I hate having my hair back like this, because it just looks like I'm bald. So majestical. I seriously gasped when I walked in. This is the best thing ever. This was not here before. This is the main lobby of my building. There's a parcel locker, so if I get a package, I'll get a key, and my package will be in the locker instead of having to walk all the way to the post office. Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Seriously though, I am happier than a kid in a candy store. That parcel locker is the best thing ever. I can never move from this building now. I must live here forever. Oh, oh my gosh, baby toothless. Oh my gosh, I am dying right now. It's nice to get something non-Disney for once. Oh, baby, you're so cute. Seriously, Bailey Creations, you need to stop buying stuff. Uh, shut up, Zed Kitty Zed. You are so 2011. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do the snow globe unboxing as its own video because I already got a lot of footage for today. But I'm going to show you guys the box. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Oh my gosh. Da -na -na. Da -na. Timber! Okay. <clears throat> Here it is. It is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I have a terrible urge to edit this unboxing video right now, but I need to get cracking on that Spica glitter pen review, so I need to clean up get some supper and start working. And I will show you guys the snow globe, like why wouldn't I? I shouldn't have teased you with the box. Where can I go that has good light? Mm, my kitchen counters are full of dirty dishes. Well, hmm. Let's try over here. Okay. Not the best lighting here. You'll get a better view in the unboxing video, which like I said, will go on my other channel because I'm weird like that. But it is gorgeous, oh my goodness. Sorry, Pangu, you just got bumped to second place. 
but Pangu is easier to shake without fear of dropping and breaking him because he's not heavy like the frozen snow globe. So it's 9.48, normally I would be editing the vlog by now, but I was busy doing like some prep stuff for the glitter pen review, and I still haven't even filmed it, I just prepped it. And so I for sure want to film that tonight, so it's going to be a bit of a late night. I won't be editing it, but I do still have to edit the vlog, so ugh, another late night, which sucks, because I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow, which means... I'm gonna be tired during my live stream. But anyway, I just realized that I haven't eaten a single thing since I got home from work. And that is crazy for me because I need my food. I'm not one of those people that just like gets busy and forgets to eat. No, my stomach's like, Bana, you gotta eat. But apparently I was just so busy filming videos tonight that I didn't eat. So I need to maybe have a little something before I go to bed. Well, I need this camera to film the glitter review, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Good night, guys. In order to film this, I have to do a one-handed egg crack. No, there's already shell. No, 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 no. Set down the camera. No. Egg in the hole. Egg in the hole. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna get a start on editing or 